good evening everybody so here we come again we start with today we will go shall we start with you i mean are you there abid are you there abid are you there yes ma'am good evening ma'am <clears throat> your video on ma'am actually i am not uh, prepared uh, for this on video why you are not prepared to switch on your video because sitting in an interview station ma'am because uh, my room lights is turned off now why you are not prepared to uh, you are, you are sitting in an interview <laughs> okay please keep your video on if you are uh, in a decent position to talk to us okay Okay. What is your opinion about the famous Big Boss show? What is your mm -hmm. opinion about the famous Big Boss show? Do you uh, watch this no, show regularly? I don't know about Big Boss show. Okay. What kind of television programs do you really uh, prefer to watch on? Actually, ma'am, uh, I don't like uh, any kind of uh, television's uh, reality show. But uh, I like more. You don't watch uh, television at TV. all. No, no, I watch television, but uh, but I like to uh, see uh, any kind of uh, uh, movie, uh, TV serial, like. Turkish uh, TV serial. How do you keep yourself updated about the news of the world and the nation? How do you keep yourself uh, updated about the world and the nation? Ma'am, uh, it's uh, I can uh, use uh, some social media. and i also From like social uh, media so you you keep yourself updated in terms of news yes ma'am i think so uh can you please explain how i'm actually uh, i don't uh, i don't uh yeah you uh, would you like to complete your answer Yes, ma'am. Please repeat this question again. How social media can help you to keep yourself updated about the news of the world? News of the world. Okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, I see uh, some of the uh, news uh, from social media, uh, like uh, BBC, like CNN News, Al Jazeera. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, Abid, a humble suggestion to you: please keep on practicing uh, the maximum you can. Please read English newspaper. Please watch English TV channels, news channels, so that the fluency is there with you. Otherwise, what I feel is it is it is getting a difficulty for you every moment to think about the answer in your. a uh, mother tongue and then translate it and then answer to the other person sitting across the table and the entire process is dragging so much of time that what you intend to speak and what you are actually speaking are not in harmony okay so okay. you really need to practice a lot yeah. a lot a lot a lot and please for that keep yourself under a process of self motivation you have to tell yourself every day morning getting up from the bed that yes i can do that and let's start practice this is something okay, what you have you. to do okay thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you okay so now uh, shall we move to anisha jaiswal ya yeah, anisha hello hello ma'am so hello my gross voice <laughs> no not an issue but why your video is off Are you overdressed today I'm as well? I'm planning it. 
no ma'am i'm underdressed today <laughs> okay 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 start it on please yeah oh just a second ma'am it's the worst yeah yes ma'am you think that you are underdressed ma'am it's <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you live in the extremes you know you you never talk in the normalized scale whenever you talk you talk in the extremes i am overdressed oh my god what did you do no i dressed up like <laughs> a way as if i'm going to overall your taj i am underdressed oh my god what happened to you no i am just in attire so this is you typically you okay so tell me had this been a situation in big boss how would you react to if there was a there were a hidden camera in your room and people would have been knowing every conspiracy that you are doing with your roommate about your fellow contestants what would be your reaction about that tell me ma'am if they are keeping watch on me first of all they will be knowing what exactly i'm doing because ma'am it's under this in the sense ma'am first the phone i will give my clarification regarding underdressed mom under this innocence i am just wearing a top and I, as i am having a bad throat so i have just put a scarf so so that i could speak at least okay. and if there are cameras in my room and uh, what i do with my roommates obviously i won't be liking it because it's my personal space and mm-hmm. people will be interfering into the personal space i should tell me one thing do you don't you think that uh, intruding into somebody's privacy is a kind of a sadistic pleasure it's a kind of a pleasure game that people get knowing the very intimate and personal details and habits of some professional or any individual it gives us a very kind of a hidden pleasure and it is something yes. which we should never do uh yes ma'am i've seen a number of people getting into it and uh, they try to try to gather as much as gossip as they can possibly do and then spread it it gives them a mm-hmm. hidden pleasure but to be very honest they should not do this because what can be the motive behind hosting shows like big boss then ma'am as i said it to christine ma'am as well that uh, the there are there are business of groups yeah, that happen over shows like big boss Yes ma'am it's just that that the celebrities are paid in a lot paid a lot of money to do all these things in real life they might be very good friends but in that show they are made to fight with each other and try to create a scene just to gain trp do you really think that in daily life if you are a very good friend with somebody you can suddenly go in front of camera make some fight and earn money and be the same friend back do you really think that human mind is that level uh, of elastic thing which can really perform all these activities or you think that everything is doable for the sake of money and why do people go and join shows like that if you are really a good friend of mine will it be possible for you to make a nonsense and a nuisance in front of the camera and spread uh, wrong words about me to which the entire world is having an eye to and defame me in all possible ways and be the same friend back when we get back to a normal life you think that that's a doable sort of stuff ma'am you pinpointed a very true factor like that if we both are very Speak good speak your friend. mind yes ma'am if we if i and you are a very good friend and we went to that show and i, I know that i popped up a very good fact otherwise <laughs> you wouldn't have laughed me yes uh, ma'am actually that um, if we both are having a fight and i will be creating a very bad image of yours we will not never be a good friends back again like it but uh, we actually don't know that whether they are just doing it for a sake of money or they just need to means they really want to do all this thing because each and every reality show are the paid ones whether it's splits villa whether it's big boss whether even the jhalak dikha ja and all that everything is paid ones before shooting the jhalak dikha ja was actually, primarily a dance competition if i remember 
Yes, ma'am. Chalat Pitya but... Acha was a show like a dance competition. It was not a kind of a show like Big Boss. Yeah. Big Boss is a twenty-four yeah. yes, hour closed circuit TV in a single room, staying with somebody in the same house, not being able to move out of it. It's a pathetic kind of a situation, and it's it's a more of an imposed kind of a lifestyle to which we were normally not used to, right? So that that itself yes. is a very claustrophobic sort of an arrangement. Yeah, ma'am. Actually. If you could see Jalak Deklaja, even that is a celebrity base. Means the celebrities Why are coming. Why do you think that celebrity base is a must, must go consideration for shows like this one? Ma'am, where you is a is a kind of a considerable logic. Ma'am, because uh, like, means celebrities are already well known people to all you, mm -hmm. to all of us. Like because. Might be our parents might be watching some sequence, uh, series or sequence or something or some way other they might be knowing each other and all that. And so, if bringing celebrity, they already have a very means well means everybody well known them. So they think that they will be gaining more TRP because uh, even we have some favoritism if we watch normal sequence. If we are watching uh, suppose Sas Bahu serial. it might be like i will be supporting that character you will be supporting some other character and both of the character are brought into a uh, big boss kind of a show and then i will be supporting my favorite character and you will be supporting your favorite character and yeah that's the means just to gain trp they do all this thing Okay, Aisha, humble suggestion. You talked really very good today. Uh, it was very much unlike you. That is, you you did not shout at the shows like, no, this shows like this should never happen. This is all about our money. I pay the tax and they make money out of it. You did not talk like that. So I'm very surprised and partially happy as well because I I take it as a, a prize at my end. Okay, so I have been able to make you understand some way that beta is not being spoken. Okay, na, but a humble suggestion to you is that I have been able to make you understand. Na, give me that prize, please. Yeah. <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> yes, definitely, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now a humble suggestion to you is that. Please try to put a bigger thing in a smaller package. Okay, try to drag a one-liner explanation like whenever it is all about, whenever it is incorporating celebrity faces, the monetization of any show runs better in terms of retrievals because of obvious social agendas and taboos. Somebody who is a known face, why why the celebrities are engrossed in advertisements? Akshay Kumar, Amitabh Bachchan. Govinda, Saurav Ganguly, who not? Juhi Chawla, Madhuri Dixit. Everybody is endorsing a brand. Why they are brought? Why not you and me? It's primarily because of the reason because the the face has got a value association along with the brand, and their face adds value to the brand. And so people think that oh my God, she is endorsing this brand, then the brand must be good. So it's a kind of a reflected kind of a glory uh, bartered system. Okay. So please try to put it in a smaller sentence that whenever it's all about a celebrity endorsement, the monetization model runs better in our society. Okay, ma'am. I am telling you, I am I am answering the same thing as you did. but my answer is one line and it is more compact than yours and please another humble suggestion please don't drag name of any other comparable reality show if you are asked to answer from a specific one you were asked to answer only from big boss don't bring jodi kya hai one number one jhalak dikla ja kabhi sautan kabhi saheli saas bahu serial you are getting personal in those places you never know the interviewer who sits in the chair like we like me i was an ardent fan of ekta kapoor sir kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahut thi if i would have been in the recruitment mode i would have cancelled your recruitment on that very fast go okay so don't get personal with the names like that you were asked to answer regarding a big boss because that mentioning came from my end you you can you can keep it open but don't remain specific about agending uh, and tagging Any names specific. from other other specific serials which fall under the same genre okay jhalak dikla jab was a dance competition it was not a big boss kind of a show and more importantly the amount of budget allocation for big boss and jhalak dikla jab are crore se apart okay you cannot compare a millionaire with mukesh ambani 
it will be a uh, it will be a it's a bad fun altogether right yes. so better we don't do that happy yes ma'am ma'am are you happy with my answers <laughs> ma'am, i am happy me. seeing you smiling my dear <laughs> thank you ma'am yes of course i'm happy of course i'm happy take care still okay beta okay so with that you, uh, shall we move to atul kumar yeah thank you beta thank you sir are you here with us atul sir atul kumar yeah i'm, yeah. I'm here yeah <coughs> namaste chandra oh, ji and everybody hello sir chandrima hello this is chandrima namaskar and um, namaste <coughs> so uh, uh, the question is big boss right so what is your opinion about this entire uh, execution reality of the show. show big reality show big boss here yeah. have you ever watched it uh, unfortunately i watched it uh, a few times many years back okay. almost five, okay. 10 years back more than 10 years back okay uh, i will never do that again uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I believe in. I be, uh, in case I have to watch a reality show, I'll watch a quiz competition or some sports events, and actually uh, do something uh, positive in my life. But these reality shows are so fake, so fake, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. full of so much of negativity that they are best avoided and discouraged. Uh, and Big Boss is one example. uh the the guy who people who sponsor the uh, the the show people who conduct the show people like salman khan others so hmm. they are like criminals and terrorists and they are making money out of uh, innocent people children you are an entrepreneur sir so i would like to cut you here and ask my next yeah. question that is i understood that what is your perception about shows like big boss i completely understand now my next question to you is you were an entrepreneur right you have seen mm-hmm. that how difficult it is to raise money from industry and make money out of that investment that you raise with so much of effort making money right. in this world with correct reasons are really not that easy and we all are working day in and day out for making a better revenue model for our existing businesses whereas some people like us who are away literate who are a way energetic and hard working and honest and integrated in conventional uh, quote unquote terms are putting mm-hmm. so much of effort on the other hand shows like big boss are making money even in multiple of crores what can be the reason behind this successful monetization model for shows like big boss sure so uh... <clears throat> we humans are all living beings we have both uh, a good and bad aspects and you know good, we we want to have everybody would like to eat uh, an ice cream or a chocolate or you know we like to eat uh, sugar and uh, 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 so most of the sweet sweet uh, have a lot of sugar so sugar tastes very sweet uh, but we know that it's very very harmful for health so that is the monetization model they have so they will show something which is appealing to our eyes appealing to our uh, baser instincts and that's how they make money and how to avoid that that would be a, a, a much harder challenge because uh, parents schools everybody has to write from early age of children they have to try, try to incorporate like just like a session like this one where we're trying to give the right sort of exposure to children and mm-hmm. right values uh, that is uh, that's the way and that's a very hard task but i there are many organizations don't you think that the media house has got the media houses who are responsible in term of making decisions that what to showcase in their prime slots they carry a real big responsibility towards the society and the community for tomorrow it should be a choice at their end not to host shows like that but even then they do shows like big boss which makes multiple of crores of money in terms of revenue and which basically showcase very negative things about human instinct in some way or the other we are prioritizing only getting and making money on the contrary of prioritizing human values don't you think so absolutely and just like in uh, films 
we have a regulatory board like a censor board so censor censor board would do the rating of any uh, films so is it okay to watch for everyone universal or uh, universal or ua and then adult and that and they also mm-hmm. before giving that rating they go through the review process there is a censor censor board which does the review of that uh, uh, film so i think something similar needs to be done for even tv serials Uh, and especially in the age of internet is becoming very hard because uh, through youtube or through online channels anybody without going to the censor board people can have you know uh, what do you call it ott mm-hmm. platforms <clears throat> so yeah so much more OTT. regulatory OTT. Uh, uh, methods need to be applied to make sure that nothing uh, which is can be harmful to uh, the society is uh, able to make money and this is going to be very hard and the other option is that promoting a uh, positive thing so how do we do that so there are a lot of good serials good uh, uh, films and uh, <clears throat> there's a uh, job of government as well as the society as in schools and parents and teachers mm-hmm. to encourage those type of content uh, so let's say uh, a very very uh, uh, there men there's a lot of good uh, serials and movies inspirational movies and serials come coming in i absolutely so, understand your point i absolutely yeah. understand your point yeah sir it was lovely talking to you and uh, discoursing is any time the best way to come across solutions of problems that uh, trouble us day in and day out but we barely have a minimum control on things like that when it is all about what we see on the screen of the television atul sir thank you for being here with us and with that can we please move on to charvi charvi are you here with us yes ma'am yeah can good you please start your yes ma'am good evening so you are from chandigarh right if yes, i have yes ma'am not. okay okay charvi imagine a situation that you are in a very desperate need of money and uh, you really want to donate that to some people of real necessity it can be uh, some friend of yours it can be some relative of yours it can be some poor children around your locality who need the money for survival and for education and you are given an opportunity to join a show like big boss where you will have to act against your ethics what would be your call would you like to uh, join that show for the sake of money because you think that you will remain that same you joining a show like big boss does not alter your values and ethics for the lifetime process or else you will try some other way around but not join big boss what would you do i will try some other way around not I... join big boss because uh, uh, big boss will alter my personality if that's what i think because everyone will know like oh like what i have seen like they will know my personality everyone will know like everything about me even if it might not be true they will think that this is true about her so that will change me as according to the so i will join that will boss. change you or that will change uh, what people think about you what people think about me and me too okay so you think that uh, joining big boss can change you as a human being altogether yes it can how how can it change um like um, i saw my mother watching this so like i had to watch like last 10 to 15 minutes of the last season so as i have seen like they the way they fight and the way they get uh, worked up over small things you think that if you go and be a part of that house you will also start behaving like them yes then where is your control over your mind and uh, practices Actually, so you have absolutely no control on what you can do and what you should not do no i'm like what i mean to say is that people watch this big boss because they like to see people fight that's what i think that's my personal uh, view that people fight like they get the fighting spirit from it as what i have heard from my friends so i think i will also have to fight to get that screen time so that's so I, yes i think that i will 
Charvi, I uh, a humble suggestion to you is you also understand today that you are thinking something else and you are saying something else, right? You yourself are not very convinced about this uh, uh, answers that you are giving. Am I right? Yes, yes ma'am. Actually, yeah, I don't know about <laughs> I, Big Boss at all. So <laughs> yes, that was the that was the honest confession I was looking for. Because when uh, we talked in the last day also, right? Yes, ma'am. When we uh, wrapped up our conversation, you you came across a wonderful statement. I I asked you, Charvi, but are you feeling bad with these harsh words? And you replied that no, ma'am. I think that these real truths are better than those sugar coated. So a kind yes, a kind of a statement like this came from you. If I am not very wrong. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now when someone says this, some joining Big Boss cannot change her. That is inevitable. So I am understanding it much before that you don't know much about Big Boss. So if you don't know about anything much, tell that I don't know. I never had interest about watching shows like this because it's all about fighting and making nonsense in front of the camera. I never got into any interest in watching Big Boss, so I don't know much about it. But if yes, you are saying somebody that joining a show, please understand one thing. If I am telling you that I am going to share my room with a terrorist, and after seven days I will become a terrorist because his activities can influence me, then where is my control over my mind? You replied that. I asked you repeatedly, but it can it change you as a human being? You said yes. I think it will change me as a human being. What will the interviewer have an idea about you? You just imagine. I am sure that you did not want to say this, right? But you said yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Another mistake that you made: you immediately started replying after hearing the question. The moment you started answering, your brain was not ready with the answer. तुम्हारे दिमाग को पता ही नहीं कि क्या बोल रहा है तुम्हारे मुंह बोले जा रहे हैं उसमें कोई मतलब होगा no, होगा कि नहीं बोलो नो नो मैम मैम सो लॉजिक देर वॉज नथिंग इन योर आंसर टूडे ओनली दैट यू यू स्पोक सम गुड इंग्लिश दैट इज द ओनली गेन आउट ऑफ दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन सो दैट टेक एवे मैसेज इज फॉर यू फ्रॉम दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन ऑफ टूडे इफ यू डोंट नो एनीथिंग Please be candid and honest. Because if you are trying to make uh, manifested truths, you will get it. I will ask you five more questions, and I will get more convinced. Okay, this girl does not know anything, and she is trying to make answers and trying to camouflage. We are not working. This will go against you. Okay. Jhoot yes, sabko pata padta hai, beta. Saj bhi pata padta hai, jhoot bhi pata padta hai. Okay. So don't think that the person sitting on the other side of the table is a fool. Nobody is. and the second point is don't immediately start answering when you don't even know what you are going to say ask for a minute you can ask for a minute tell your interviewer give me 2 minutes to think and i'll reply you back okay. sir can i have 2 minutes to think about it because i never had an idea about coming across such a question it shows that you are trying to do justice to the question समझ में आ रहा है आपको यस मैम आई आई राइटिंग नोट्स अबाउट दैट ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू प्लीज डू दैट एंड वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीक ओके यस टेक केयर थैंक यू मैम चंडीगढ़ मस्ट बी वेरी कोल्ड राइट नाउ सो यस मैम थैंक यू मैम ओके